It's fall fun for the whole family. We are talking, of course, about the Mayberry Farm corn maze in Northville. It's 10 acres of lush, thick corn with a brand new design and even the chance to spook things up for the more daring. I'm joined now by Northville Community Foundation Executive Director Diana Wallace to tell us about this year's fall attractions. Good morning, Diana. Thanks for being with us. Good morning and thank you for having us. Of course. So kicking things right off, tell us a little bit about Mayberry Farm and how this year's festivities are a little different than some of the festivities we've seen in the past. Well, this year, uh, the corn maze uh, out at Mayberry Farm is 10 acres. We have nine acres for those that like a little bit of challenge. And we have the one. However, that's my size. It's easy in, easy out, and it's really fun for the whole family. Um, this year's design was created by the Ford Volunteer Group, so we're excited about that, um, that our own um, community helped us design the maze, so that's pretty fun for us. And Diana, I think your microphone cut out just for a second there. You were talking about the smaller maze, which I think that one acre maze is designed for some of the younger kiddos. Can you repeat that for us just so our viewers can hear it? Yes, I'm sorry about That's that. That's okay. Uh, the, the one acre piece is really for those that don't like the challenge of the big nine acres. Anybody that's directionally challenged, the one acre piece is probably the best for you. That's the maze that I would go through. Me too. Uh, because I know <laughs> I won't get lost in there. For the little kiddos, the directionally challenged and people like me, I'm right there with you. And for those yeah. who, who want to get into the spooky spirit, I understand there's some evening activities you can do t as well. You can, you know, do this corn maze and see the full moon. Yes, our corn maze runs on the weekends only. So starting on Friday nights, it runs from five until nine o'clock. On Saturday, it runs from 10 to nine. And on Sunday, it's from 10 to seven. Um, the last wagon ride goes out 90 minutes before we close so that you'll have enough time to get through the maze. But we're out in the country and it's dark and there's no lights out there. So if you want to have a fun challenge, come to the corn maze when it's dark. And of course, I know that Mayberry also has animals on the farm. How can people check those out? So we do have animals at the farm. Currently, we have 125 animals. We have 11 species. We have draft horses and ponies and donkeys and chickens and turkeys and sheep and goats. Anything that you would want to see. Um, they're all in an open pasture so you can see them. Currently, they're not in our barn and they're not in the barn because we want them to get this last few days of the green grass that's growing out in the fields. But they love to come up to the gates and visit with you so that you can touch them um, and just get to know them a little bit. Sounds like fun for the whole family. And Diana, before I let you go, can you remind our viewers where they can go for ticketing information and more information about the corn maze? Uh, yes, you can find out more information about Mayberry. We are a nonprofit, so we get no money from any state, federal, or local governments. So we rely on the guests to come to the Corn Maze that is a fundraiser. So go to our website at www.mayberryfarm, not with an S, dot org. And that will give you all the ticket information, our hours, and all the fun things that we have that you can do at the farm. And we, of course, will be checking back in with Mayberry Farm at 8 o'clock, where we'll kind of go more inside to see uh, a behind-the-scenes sneak preview of some of those festivities. But for now, Diana, we will let you go. Thank you so okay, much for super. joining us. Okay, thank you very much.